Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Joey Biagas, I'm a digital media expert, and today I'm gonna to show you how to fix the timeout inside of iTunes. Now, first off, I wanna say it's not actually iTunes that is causing the error. Uh, even though iTunes will bring up the error of timeout, it's really your computer and the clock source in your computer. Because what iTunes does is it syncs to the internet, and if the internet's time doesn't uh, correlate with your computer's time, it gives you some weird error. So what you have to do is actually change the time on your computer. So let's go ahead and let me let me quickly quickly show you how to do that. So um, I do have iTunes open here, but like I said, we're going to focus on the clock here. So we're going to cruise up to the top right corner of the computer, and just simply uh, double click, or you can click once on the clock and then go down to date and time preferences, okay? And that's gonna open up our window here. Perfect. And you just wanna double check and make sure that the clock is actually the correct clock um, of whatever time zone that you are in. And if it's not, go ahead and set it. But here's a little tip that I want to tell you because I am actually someone who does travel quite a bit and I'll be in different time zones and uh, sometimes I'll get that issue. So. What I can show you is if we click on the time zone tab right here, we can set time zone automatically using the current location. So this will kind of um, basically use the internet to show what time zone I'm in and always go off of that clock source. So there you guys go. That's how you fix the timeout inside of iTunes. If you do have any other questions, please let us know, but thank you for watching.